Hey viewers, me and team here. Welcome to a StarCraft 2 match. I'll be the blue Protoss and my opponent will be the red Terran open traveler on Scrap Station. Now, a couple things about Scrap Station, walling ramps is harder, so either side has to worry about cheese a little bit more than usual. Rush distance is pretty long until you clear out the rocks in the middle, so it's not so easy to rush your opponent. And until those rocks are cleared, Zelnaga Tower can really watch for pressure. However, the air distance is short. So uh, you have to watch out for Muto play. If you're going up against the Zerg, you have to watch out for Banshee Harass. I guess Voids, although Terran's not particularly vulnerable to Void Rays, but if you're a Zerg, you might want to watch out for Zerg Void Rays coming from the Protoss. Especially from uh, the nonsense that I've been using lately, where you do a proxy one gate. And not only do you proxy one gate, but you put like your pylon here, Regardless of whether the hatch is there, and then you stick your gateways so it blocks the hatch. So not only are you blocking the hatch, but if they try to take a quick third then, you can just run your zealots up into their mineral line and cause trouble off of one gateway. I'm serious, because if they go later than, if they go later than 14 pull, you can have a zealot in their mineral line before that pull finishes, which means you have quite a bit of time to interrupt their mining, stick a zealot here or here and they can't attack it with their drones. They'll die. <laughs> they can't get a surround. Or at least not a surround that's meaningful. So you really interrupt a lot of mining time doing that and it's very APM intensive on your opponent to defend it and you really pay for yourself with your proxy one gate against the Zerg when you do that. Because not only are you doing some mineral line harassment and even some damage usually if they uh, go hatch first, but you also um, you are also still blocking the natural and they have to kill that before they can take their expo putting them behind on larva so they really suffer that a lot and uh, I might show some more games with that I think I've shown a proxy one gate where I killed my opponent outright already but a great thing to follow that up with is void ray because they might try to roach ling all in you and the void ray will block that obviously anyway Terran here going to factory I do not have a scout on that but whatever. I am going, well, to get Robo. Yeah. A little bit slow on my gas. I should pick up my second gas sooner for this build. But not too big a deal. You can see what the build order was while I was rambling on the early goings by checking out the production tab. But at this point, we can just show units because that's more meaningful. Tech Lab, so opponents either going, well, tanks or Thors. And uh, Thors aren't exactly the happen in build against Protoss. You can just go Immortals and that really hoses Thors. So probably tanks. He's getting a bunker here. Playing pretty defensively. He is taking a second gas, but it took him a while to clear that gas and put it down. So we're not seeing any Starport play. And even if he went there, it would take him too long to get Banshees before I'm going to see it. Uh, speaking of seeing it, I'm trying to get my ramp defended a little bit here and get some units out. I forget whether I go Immortal or... Okay, I do go OBS first in this, and I even chrono it, or yeah, that's what I chronoed. So I want that sucker out quickly, and I'm going to just get Immortals after that. You know, two gate robo, keep building pylons, try not to supply myself, supply lock myself too badly. Friggin' pro. Terran's cutting uh, workers a little bit here, he really should continue to be training SCVs just now getting a starport. So, pretty late starport should be getting medevacs off that or whatever maybe going for some drops the distance is short but anyway whatever he's doing I'm going to see it unless he wants to blow mule energy on a scan and he just notices this as it comes in pretty rare even among pro levels to notice that right away even then he'd have to be in position for it so I'm going to get a full scout here uh, see the starport going up and uh, you know two racks factory Nothing too threatening in terms of force count. He's not going to be able to beat this with what he has. He'll get force fielded at the ramp and owned. Especially since I have a second immortal by the time he arrives. But yeah, I am hold I do have a zealot on the watchtower just in case. And I guess he realized that because I killed one of his SCVs there. So now he's going to kill my zealot. Not the best. A little bit of missed micro there and it gets a marine sliced. Hard to kite because they have the same speed as zealots. So, but he could have just microed away one at a time, and taken one hit on each marine while shooting me. And any medevac would heal that. But he's not going medevac. He's going banshee. And I start suspecting this immediately because he puts a tech lab here. And what do you need a tech lab for? Well, you could be going raven, banshee, or battle cruiser. 
and Banshee's by far the most common Terran play in this instance, so that's what I'm suspecting. My probe is just hovering here. I'm just waiting to see what he builds. Already checked his expo. Um, didn't I? Yes, with my uh, observer. And then put it back in place uh, over his tech structures, just looking for what he's building. And he probably, I think he scanned me and saw that I didn't have a lot of stalkers, so he's probably licking his chops right now. Except for since I'm hovering a probe over his friggin' base, I know he's going banshees, which I hate. So I'm just getting some stalkers. And, uh, yeah, that should stop any Banshee play in its tracks, even if he gets Cloak. Which he hasn't invested yet. He's supply locking himself, because he is pro. Usually I get to say that about myself when it comes to supply locking, but not this time. Maybe he should consider a supply job at this point. No, he got his, uh... Or did he do a supply job? No, he didn't. But he did finish some supply depots, so he's no longer supply locked. Neither of us building any expansions, or even putting any effort into that. Um, yeah, I'm starting to go counter Banshee. You'll see me queue up lots of stalkers here. Uh, another observer, so that way I have a defense, anti cloak defense, and also offense still scouting his main. This Banshee is sitting in plain sight of the observer, so. <laughs> and this is pretty clear of you. I even saw him pushing out. So I know everything that's going on. That's the other reason I like Two Gate Robo, is you get the scouting information. Now notice the difference between two SEVs, uh, yeah, 28 and 26. And this is why I don't like going much over, like, 26 um, probes on one base. Yeah. Without mules, we're pretty much the same. So you really get diminishing returns pretty quickly when it comes to this. You know, maybe he's getting 20 more minerals per minute or something stupid. Not worth the, uh, workers unless you're going to expand. And with, uh, Protoss, I could just start chrono boosting spamming probes and I found that I can saturate pretty darn quickly by doing that so whatever not going to invest too much into probes unless I decide I need them he's just camping here I thought he was going to attack me when he pushed out but he didn't and he's up to three banshees now is he did he already attack me with them or did he not I'm pretty sure he just uh, took a little pot shot there and got scared off he saw the stalkers and ran away. Uh, certainly, for memory of this game, nothing significant happened there. Um, I know he came in from here, took a couple shots from the stalkers, and ran. That's really all that's happened so far. There's the supply drop. And yeah, now he's got this SCV there. And now, yeah, now he's got his Banshees with his main army. Looking at the army investment tab, I am ahead. And that tends to be the case, for whatever reason. I'm... Maybe because I'm Protoss, I don't know. I, I tend to invest in army more than my opponent. But in this case, it's not like he has significantly more economy. I mean, he's got three extra harvesters, but they're not doing anything since he doesn't have an expansion. So whatever. Uh, checking out composition. He's got a couple tanks, I've got a couple immortals. So I've got zealots and sentries to deal with the bio ball. But <laughs> this is a pretty impressive bio ball. No forge upgrades for me yet, but my opponent lacks upgrades as well. So this is a little bit dicey. He's going to go ahead and siege up here. I don't know, maybe he thought I took an expansion. That's going to be a rude awakening. <laughs> yeah, he's really playing aggressively to stop my expo. <laughs> I didn't know this. Don't! No expo. Okay. And all right, here we are. Uh, in a composition that you really don't see a lot in most games. Uh, with seven immortals, no colossi, so no um, no need for vikings, I guess, to counter them. In terms of army investment, I am way ahead. My opponent sinking way too much into marines. Although that's not too bad, because I have immortals, and he knew it. So it looks like he didn't get any marauders, because I was so immortal heavy. Uh, obviously, immortals counter marauders. And so this isn't as bad as it could be, although just in terms of raw army investment, he could be doing better. I don't know. Maybe he needed another production structure or to produce something else other than the Banshees. Maybe going Banshee tech nerfed his ability to produce a little bit. I don't know. But he's got the Marines and tanks, and that's not insignificant. But I would say that uh, despite the kind of strange composition, I have the lead here. So let's see what goes on. We'll, throw, we'll pull up units lost. That's always enlightening. And he does start with the lead there because I tend to throw units away early game for scouting. And yeah, we're going to try to uh, get some force field 
micro, and it does decently. These guys in the back aren't doing as much as they could be, and they're certainly not focusing down the Immortals, which they need to be doing, as the Immortals are going to resist the tank something fierce. And I do have enough Stalkers to handle that few Banshee, so that's good for me. And while Immortals are not exactly good against Marines, when the Marine numbers aren't high, that's not going to go well, and yes, now he's going to get cleaned up, and stupidly, I left my probe back here, so I'm going to have to run away, taking some losses. Nevertheless, I cleaned up his little army, and so, looking better. I do lose that immortal. Um, he's going to have to back off. Can't quite pick off this immortal. Hardened shield saves it, I guess. And away goes the Banshee, although they do get two attacks total damage, so they do pretty good against the mortals. Or pretty well against the mortals, whatever. But really not a lot going for my Terran opponent here. He really got kicked back, and now... What's he going to do? Well, he's going Command Center. Building it right at the Expo. Uh, you better believe that I'm going to get an OBS on that eventually, if I haven't yet. And I have not scouted that just yet. Although, it won't be long. I actually took this OBS and started checking for sneak expos, since it seems suspicious he didn't have one yet. Most people would expand by now, but this guy apparently plays more similarly to me. And here I do catch it. And so I'm going to see that. I'm going to see he's getting more marines. He's at 1-1 now. I'm just trying to get um, my first ground weapons upgrade. So, working on that. The only thing I really have going for me is that I didn't lose too many Immortals in that first engagement, so still pretty good. They're not spectacular, but they do do 20 damage, so there you have it. 55 against Armored, the three-shot a tank. It's painful. So, uh, he's seeing the Expo, I decided to push it, and he is going to be forced to lift off. Yeah, I got a shot, I got a volley in before he lifted off. So where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? No! And I can't quite take that out, although if he flies this too far away, it's going to burn to death. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. <laughs> that is going down. <laughs> Nasty. And once again, Observer camping here, seeing everything that's going on. And that makes me not want to push. Marines are really good against the mortals, they're at plus one. He's got a tank uh, that's sieged up here, and that would cause my zealots some grief as well as my stalkers. So I decided to back up, and what I want is more sentries for force fields. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm like falling in love with force fields here, so I'm actually chronoing out force fields. Meanwhile, he has one banshee. He took out my fort, so I couldn't get my plus one upgrade. This was while I was taking out his expo. He started pushing me here. Now, I do have cannons to protect my mineral line, but this just shows how annoying banshees can really be working on my pylons now, and he's going to go after pretty much everything that isn't covered by cannons. I guess I could drop another cannon here or there, but I really want to save minerals for an eventual expansion. So I'm just going to drop some more pylons so I can eventually re-micro, or yeah, re-micro, that's great. No, re-macro. I'm getting some energy on my sentries for force field, and I am up to five sentries now. And if you look at this composition here, I have three, I'll have a fourth soon. He does get the scan off. Yeah, he knows I'm coming. So uh, he's got some marines and some tankage and two medevacs. Uh, taking a look at the armies tab, he's still behind. But that's mostly because he lost more earlier. And once again, we have a lot of immortals against marines. But there's one important consideration here. Well, they're the same um, range. So, but the stalkers are actually higher range. Anyway, I want to take advantage of the fact that they can't swarm me using force fields and really keep the rain, the marine massing from being a problem. I was going to force field... Hang on, hang on, pause. I was going to force field here and here. Just two force fields would have completely destroyed these marines. The sentries are a little far back, couldn't quite make it happen. I could have pushed up, but then the marines would have been shooting my immortals and that would have been bad too. So, yeah, now it happens. But uh, I do get some Marines there, and now he's not shooting me at all. Very bad for him. Yeah, well, not shooting me at all with a large portion of this army. And yeah, I try to micro an individual Immortal onto that tank, and I'm just not getting it. But what I am getting is lots and lots of annoyed Marines bouncing around like asses down here. 
and this is something the Marines don't want because I'm getting more DPS through the choke than they're getting since they are individually they don't do as much damage so yeah chewing through them with uh, just a couple strategically placed force fields lots of running back and forth granted my units are doing that too but again I get a lot more DPS in this choke because I get 20 damage per shot here even though it's less efficient just because he can't get as much damage per shot on his frontal guys the force fields are going to take the day on the ramp and punch through. Meanwhile Banshee's still working my tech structures. I'm just camping probes here. I have enough for another nexus and I have the three cannons. This Banshee can go to work on my tech structures but it really can't do too much else and as you can see he doesn't really have any other options and a mortals tear through a base like nothing. Look at this. He decides to try and fight with his SCVs. They're kind of getting themselves punched up just like his Marines earlier. Really not like, too good for him. So yeah, he's trying to get this around. Not happening. He'll do a little bit of damage, but not really going to be able to get through the shields. And he tries to lift off. I'm going to tag this with a stalker. I'm also uh, going to scout this base out, making sure he doesn't land there. Anywhere else he goes, I can chase him pretty readily. He starts flying this way. That's what made me suspect. And that's why I will send an observer up. Meanwhile, leaving the immortals to just ruin his base. Nothing one Banshee can do to compare to the speed that Immortals can damage him at. Plus the Banshee can't actually kill me. So if he uh, if he tries to go somewhere to re-macro and I destroy all the supply and tech structures, I can just drop a Nexus here with my Observer floating over with my five Stalkers and he won't really be able to do anything to me and I'll be able to re-macro faster than him. So normally you don't want to base race to Terran, but in this case I was fine doing it because I knew he couldn't do much to me. Or I knew that I had an out, that I could re-macro and that he couldn't. Or if he tried, it would be an island base only with a couple of SCVs and it would just be a losing prospect. So then I get that he's not rebuilding his base and I know I'm going to win. He doesn't have anything here. He GG's but does not leave before he gets defeated. Yes, I actually got defeat and won a base race. So that will be a good game. Thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Me and team signing off.